everyone, and welcome to CES 2026 Watch Room. In this series, we bring together leaders from across the tech industry to share their predictions and insights on the trends shaping our future. I'm Grace, your host for today. Artificial intelligence has been part of our lives for years, but what we're seeing now is a profound shift. AI is evolving from a tool that responds to commands into autonomous agents capable of reasoning, learning, and acting on our behalf. This new era of agentic AI is redefining how we interact with technology, how businesses operate, and how innovation reaches consumers. That's why today's conversation is so important. To help us explore how agentic AI is reshaping industries and everyday life, we're joined by Robert Wong, AWS Taiwan and Hong Kong Managing Director, who leads strategy at Amazon in AI and cloud innovation. Thank you for joining us, Robert. We're thrilled to have you here. Thank you, Grayson. Uh, it's great to be here. Pleasure to have you with us. We know that agentic AI is a term that we're hearing more often, but it can mean different things to different people. So how does Amazon define agentic AI and what role do you see it playing in the next phase of digital transformation? Right, thank you, Grace. Um, I think the simplest way to look at agentic AI is that we're moving from AI that talks to AI that acts. So think of it as your digital teammate. So for many years, we have treated AI like a smart search engine, uh, but that playbook is evolving. Today, the technology is so new and the pace is so fast that we're all experiencing this for the first time. But the core difference is that uh, an agent is a go-seeking. Traditional AI gives you a recipe an agent goes into the kitchen and then cooks the meal. Um, this is what I call zero intervention technology. I often tell our customers, um, don't try to use swords and spares to fight when your competitors are already using guns and cannons. And if your rival has an autonomous engine running their business while you're still driving every process manually, you're on just behind, you're out of the race. So agentic AI is here to take the robot out of the human, uh, letting your people, letting our staffs focus on what really matters, which is you know, innovation for all of us. So it sounds like we are facing a paradigm shift that's very different from before. And that's a great perspective. It sounds like agentic AI is about making human life not only easier, but more intelligent and adaptive. And so if we step back from Amazon for a moment and look at the bigger picture, how do you see agentic AI influencing the wider ecosystem, whether it's automotive, healthcare, or entertainment? Right, thank you, Grace. Um, I always say no cloud, no AI. Uh, the cloud is the only place where you can scale this level of intelligence across different industries. Um, agentic AI is a, a um, horizontal force because it's logic, it's versatile. What works for a bank can often be transferred into uh, other industries like uh, a hospital. Uh, take uh, AstraZeneca, uh, for example. They use our agent to form a collaborative research team across 21 countries. Uh, they, just, they didn't just read the data, they connected dots in genomic sequences to accelerate drug discovery. We all know that in health, uh, in healthcare, right, speed is isn't just in KPI. It's about saving people's lives, right? And then another example is that if we look at a Formula One uh, in a sport where a millisecond uh, is an eternity, right? Our age and reduce uh, technical uh, tri dash times from twenty four hours to under twenty minutes, right? All these technicians need to. Uh, check what's going on and ensure everything is cracked uh, in a racing car, uh, whether or not you know it is uh, on the track racing. Uh, but to ensure that uh, the cars could be operated in a very perfect manner and a perfect way, uh, it really matters in that fast speed uh, sports game. So whether it's a car or the track 
or a scientist in a lab. Agenting AI is the fuel that shortens the distance between a question and its realization. So it creates a world where real time actually means instant. Wow, that's fascinating. It really shows how agentic AI is woven into many industries. For example, you talked about pharma, you talked about extreme sport, Formula One. But whenever we talk about autonomous systems, whether it's cars, healthcare, or even entertainment, the big question is always trust. So we've seen debates around safety, uh, transparency, and accountability. So from your perspective, how can agentic AI earn public trust, not only within Amazon, but across the broader technology landscape? Yes, absolutely, Grace, you know, that is so important. Uh, and I think uh, the trust that isn't just earned through marketing, right? Um, uh, it's earned and should be earned through proven results and then with, the, uh, with the clear boundaries. Uh, for agent AI to be trusted, it has to uh, move from being a black box to a glass box. Uh, so the technology must be able to explain why it took an action, especially you know for all those technology which are invisible uh, that would make people uh, to be more cautious, suspicious, anxious, right? So we want to make the black box to glass box, so it becomes very transparent. So at AWS, we build this trust on three technical pillars, right? First is data sovereignty. So your data is your data. We, we, we don't use um, your data to train the underlying models without your consent. You know, this is number one thing. Uh, second is human in the loop framework, right? Even the most advanced agent operates uh, within guardrails where a human remains the final authority uh, for critical decision makings. And then I always tell our customers, find the gold first, and then buy your shelves. Uh, technology and trust when it solves a specific measurable problems uh, instead of just uh, chasing a trend. So uh, when an agent consistently deliver accurate and secure results, uh, fear, you know, uh, fear from everybody turns into confidence. So that is how the technology earned its license to operate, is from my, my point of view. Thank you, Robert. So from the black box to the glass box. Right. And um, looking ahead, CES is always a preview of what's next. And if we fast forward to CES 2030, um, what role do you think agentic AI will play on the show floor? And will we be talking about agents running homes, businesses, or even entire cities? Right. Um, Whereas I think by, um, 2030, we will be in a, uh, we will be in era of physical AI. The digital world will finally have hands. Uh, for example, look at our, our robot called Vulcan. It's our first robot uh, with a sense of a touch. It handles fragile smartphone screens and then also heavy cargo with the same human-like precision. So this is where computer vision miss generated logic. So today, um, Amazon operates over 1 million robots powered by Deplete, which is our AI traffic controller. Uh, but let me be clear, you know, the technology should serve people, not replace them. You know, with the Deplete uh, technology, our robots be able to save 10% uh, uh, of the total distance that it runs at a daily basis. So saving uh, driving distance, the saving all these routes and equals to saving energies. But as I mentioned, right, technology should serve people and not replace them. So since 2019, uh, we've upskilled over 700,000 employees. Our colleagues have been upskilled. And then in our new, newest facilities, uh, the technical roles actually uh, have increased by 30%. So by 2030, um, agents will coordinate the entire value chain and smart cities. Uh, but the most important agent will still be the human builder, the one who directs the system uh, to solve real challenges. So we're building a world where work is finally worthy of a human creativity. Thank you, Robert. That's such a, a, a vision we're looking forward to. 
And so we talked about the bigger picture from industries to cities, but a CES is also about how technology touches people's daily lives. And if you had to pick one innovation in agentic AI that you believe will make the biggest difference for everyday uh, drivers, families, or even casual consumers, what would that be? Yeah, I would say um, it's proactive personalization. Um, we're actually moving away from reactive tools. For example, we build Alexa Plus at Amazon as a go-seeking agent with a long-term memory. It doesn't just wait for you to ask, as a lot of our audiences could be our Alexa customers, right? Alexa, take your questions and then answers back to you. Uh, read your headline news, play you some music, or um, tell you the temperatures before you go out, right? So instead of just the wait for you to ask, Alexa now understands the context of your life, your habits, your dietary uh, needs, and the schedule. So imagine your car agent noticing uh, you're low on energy and autonomous, autonomously finding the most efficient charging station uh, near your favorite coffee shop. That's the reality we're building. So that's such a powerful vision and uh, exactly the kind of perspective that CES is meant to highlight. As I always say, um, the best way to understand the future is to experience it. Uh, and speaking of the future, I like to invite you know all our audi audiences to experience it firsthand at the CES 2026 in Las Vegas, right? Uh, in first week of January, uh, come to visit AWS booth showcasing Amazon for automotive offerings with a cutting edge demonstration from AWS, Amazon Autos, Amazon Smart Vehicles, Amazon Robotics and Amazon Leo. You'll hear partner success stories and the real world use cases along with industry leaders like uh, Fujitsu, Nvidia, Siemens, and Snowflakes, and so on and so forth. Whether you're interested in electric vehicle innovation, uh, autonomous capabilities, connected car technology, or AI-powered manufacturing solutions, uh, our team will be there to show you how AWS and Amazon are transforming the automotive and the mobility value chain. Uh, thank you, Robert, for sharing how Amazon is enabling agentic AI to transform industries and also everyday life. And wishing you all the best in CES 2026. Thank you, Grace. And then thank you, all the audiences. Uh, let's see each other at the CES. Thank you. Thank you for joining us in the CES 2026 Watchroom session. Stay tuned for more conversations with leaders and innovators who are shaping the next era of technology. If you've enjoyed our content, don't forget to subscribe to the DigiTimes Asia channel and check out our website for the latest insights. This is Grace Huang. We will see you next time.